We've all done it, dream of winning millions, but in our fantasies of striking it rich, sadly, many of us have also fallen for jackpot scams. Tonight, how one neighborhood is banding together to protect one of their own from losing it all. In this quiet Florida neighborhood, word of a sweepstakes winner. She really, really, really wants to win this. Has neighbors in a tizzy. There's no question, it's, it's kind of bizarre. A winner of the famed Publishers Clearinghouse, the jackpot worth upwards of. $10 million. $10 million dollars is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But that's where the excitement ends. You see, this story isn't about the neighbor who won millions. It's about the neighbor who didn't, but thinks she did and is still paying the price for it. Her retirement account, it's been hacked, it's been taken, willingly. Pat Maynard. Stuff you don't ever hear about and then until it happens to somebody right next door. And Bob Gregoire. It's just crazy stuff. Are just two of a handful of nearby residents in the Citrus County community trying to convince one of their oldest neighbors she's been scammed. She's not mentally deficient. She just is totally off the charts when it comes to this scam. It started at least a year ago. Their 91 year old neighbor who lives by herself revealed that she had won the publisher's clearinghouse. I did explain to her that, you know, there's some scams going on and you really need to be careful. A few months later, she said, I'm going to sell my car. I said, why? And she said, well, I've won a, I want a um, Mercedes. She won a Mercedes? She's won a Mercedes. She says, I have to sell my car to pay some of the expenses to it. She sold her car, never got the Mercedes, then. She tried to sell her home? Yes, they were asking for more money, and she tried to get a loan, but she didn't qualify for a loan. So she decided she put the house up on the market. Pat contacted authorities, starting with the local sheriff's department, who, according to reports, had visited the woman before. This 2020 report details how she overnighted a check to UPS for 40 grand. She had been told she'd won some sort of a sweepstakes, and in order to get the winnings, she had to pay taxes up front. Neighbors have since reached out to adult services, even the state attorney general's office, who confirms law enforcement agencies are currently investigating the matter. Another neighbor has alerted her banks to the alleged fraud, now helps screen her mail. This is just a dose of the daily prize winning offers she's deluged with. How much do you think she's out? It could be in the range of $150,000. $150,000? That's a guesstimation. I think it's so scary that uh, it's crazy. We never notify our winners with a phone call. The real publisher's clearinghouse devotes an entire section of its website to warnings about fraud, fakes, and how to avoid them. You never have to pay anything to claim your PCH prize. The whole idea that the entire thing is just a fraud, that there is no prize, is more than a lot of people can grasp. Steve Baker, international investigation specialist with the Better Business Bureau, recently found while the number of complaints about sweepstakes prize and lottery scams is down year over year, the amount of money lost to these scams last year went up by more than 30% costing Americans nearly $230 million. The people that do these calls are very, very believable. They do this for a living. They're professionals. It's not right. Which brings us back to this community of neighbors doing what they can to help one of their own from losing it all. We're not nobody's family. Our hands are tied on what we can do. They want to suck a, a nice, lady dry of everything that she has. They don't care that she ends up out in the street. That's terrible. We're not identifying this woman because our intention is not to embarrass her. When I spoke with her off camera, she admitted to getting calls and sending some money, but told me she had stopped. Neighbors wish that was true. They've asked us to share their story in hopes of protecting others. Katie Legrone, Florida 24 Network.